some uh, quick, I'm not sure if people are trolling me. <laughs> I'm not sure they're being sarcastic. Let's just pretend for one second or a couple of minutes that they actually are being serious. That actually this ignorant or noobic or whatever you want to call it, that people actually believe what they're talking. I, I, I could be getting trolled right now. I don't know. Let's just assume I'm not. Uh, Battle Out Cycling says, just stop trying to defend yourself. You're not going to win. The sooner you admit that professional riders are doing carb depleted training, the better off you will be. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm pretty carb up myself, but how you just accept the fact. Now, this is where we, I guess we have the issue here. What does carb depleted training mean? Depleting would mean you ride, and it, if we're looking at English words, depleted means you are already carb depleted, which means you have no more glycogen in your body that can really help you perform at a high level. And that is impossible. No pro athletes doing that. Because if they were, then they'd be doing maybe 60, 70 watts, 100 watts. No pro, every single pro rider, I've been with thousands of riders, probably a thousand, it's not like 2,000, let's say at least a thousand riders. Since 2003, when I first went out of Team Onsay in here in Adelaide, I've been with Wiggins, Froome, Conador, Cadell, all the big names. All the big names. I've all the big names, all right? All the big teams. And nobody ever, ever has been climbing less than 200 watts all right even when i went lance one day it was real easy real easy and we're still doing probably 250 watts on the climbs and you can't do that if you're in a carb depleted state so anyone who says and no professional rider man no professional cyclists are so fucking competitive if you blast past a bunch of pros they're always going to shout something out or they're going to just drop you like just go flying past and there's fucking line just races on so no pro rider is going to want to be getting dropped at 150 watts by a weekend warrior. It's not going to fucking happen. So you noobs, I guess you're trolling me, you noobs just have to understand. You guys need to train with a power meter and train with professional riders. I'm not talking like the dude who's got rich parents who funds him and his or her and just, just ride around. I'm talking like pro level riders like UCI points, all that shit like that. They're actually with a team, like a, a, a decent team. They're getting paid to win, etc. I'm not talking, you know, Pro, pro, I'm talking like real pro, all right? Doing big races. And no motherfucker out there doing that level is doing carb depleted training because you can't push the fucking watts. Please. <laughs> Another one. During rider, yeah, you just can't admit the truth that meant. I'm not sure if trolling, but let's say not. You can't just admit the truth that many tro pros train faster. Kenyans run fast in the morning. Again, you need to get into your head. That ketosis and training faster. Oh, I agree. Okay. At least lately you stopped the bullshit that pros using combat. Like pros, UCI, big name fucking pros. Contador, Basso, Hamilton, Harris. Harris, when he got busted for EPO in 2003 in the Velta, he was using a fucking triple ring, a 7703 Dura Ace triple ring. And then he got pinged for EPO. So even the best 50 something, 57 kilo climber Spaniard on EPO was using a fucking triple ring. And if anyone wants to put, a, I don't have a million dollars, it's a hundred thousand dollars, I've got that in the back, hundred thousand dollars. If anyone wants to put a hundred thousand dollars on it, that no big name level pro rider has ever used compact cranks in one of their tour victories, like grand tour victories or big races, they'll put a hundred thousand dollars on it. All right, hundred thousand dollars on it. For every case I can prove where someone's used a 50, 34 with at least a 28 or a 32 or even bigger, David Miller, ran a 36 cassette. So even this person believes that all pros run 53, 39, which is fucking bogus bullshit. Um, and then he says, I'm not for low carb or something like that, but to say bullshit that pros don't train low carb or fasted. Low carb means no glycogen. You don't have enough glycogen. You can't, a low carb diet, definition from low carb diet is less than 100 grams of carbs per day. Less than a, that's 400 calories. How many fucking pros train for half an hour a day? You can't do it, man. Your red blood cells, this isn't, you motherfucking dumb fuck. The red blood cells die. They fucking die when you don't have enough sugar in it. So every time you bonk, you're killing red blood cells. You're killing everything. It's got like, your immune system. They need sugar. And if the body doesn't have enough sugar, shit dies off. It just the body goes, well, well, fucking let's just fuck this fucker off. It's the jungle out there, survival of the fittest. If you don't give your body enough nutrients, enough carbohydrates, the body says, well, you can't run from the tiger. Boom, your tiger food, your lion food. But we don't have lions and tigers in society. We have fucking Dr. Atkins. You just get scammed. You, just get, you get undercard, you just get scammed with bullshit. 
Um, or you just get dropped on the climb when otherwise you'd be keeping up there or doing better. Fasted ride, that would, what the fuck does fasted ride me? I do, every single time I run a marathon or a 5k, I have a cup of water and a piece of fruit, and that's it. That's fasted or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Fasted means no water, no food, and no one in the fucking planet is doing that, because a fast is meaning nothing. Nothing. You don't fast. You, when you fast, you don't take water or food, and no one does that. That's why they call it fasting. Or they call it water fasting, where you take everything else out of your lifestyle except for water. So no one's training fasted. And the people just are having water, water fasting during the ride, they're having some gel sooner or later. And even when they're doing that, they're running on yesterday's carbohydrate stores. So there's a bit of confusion here. Maybe people are more confused with this video. Um, I could go out to I could go out today, and r tomorrow morning I could wake up. I could literally ride 300 kilometers with no food. 100% I could. I would hundred fucking million dollars. I'd do 300 k's at low wattage, maybe 100 watts, and I could go all day. And I, at the end of it, I'd be fucking wrecked, and I probably wouldn't want to train for a week. And I'd just fuck my metabolism up. And that's why you remember Jan Ulrich? He would do this all these fucking yo-yo diets and do thyroid medic and the amount of drugs he was on to try and lean out again like thyroid meds and shit he just got fucked over we have one here doing riders high carb diet proving he's enough glycogen for two people to keep up with team sky when i was pushing that guy to get the back of team sky i was using my carbs i will beat every single professional cyclist on the planets you're going to have 200 professional riders against during rider and i'm going to beat all of them up at mount washington climb or something like that all I have to do is make sure every one of those professional riders was in ketosis when we start the climb. Game over. Nobody will keep up with me. I'll put all the money in the world on that. So you get the whole Tour de France versus... Let's say you have the Tour de France. This is not going to happen, but hypothetically, I would, let's say I can do 350 watts for one hour, 30, so 30 minutes, 350 watts for 30 minutes on a really good day. No professional cyclist on the planet can do that when they're in ketosis. Doesn't matter how much drugs you're on. No elite marathon runner could beat me in a marathon if they're in ketosis, no matter how much drugs they're on. A swimmer could beat me because I just can't swim, technically at all. But no runner or cyclist could beat me if they're in ketosis. It's physically impossible. A low carb diet puts you in ketosis within the first 30 minutes, like even less than that. You, you just be getting dropped, man. As soon as you have to push watts, you got, you're going to be burning so many, you're going to be using so much carbohydrate, you're just going to... Because, oh, but no, you're going to be burning fats. You know, that's, 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 that's what you want to do. You want to just conserve your glycogen so you burn fats. No, no, no. You can't burn fats as your primary fuel source at 300 watts. You can't do that. That's sugar, man. That's carbohydrate. Unless your threshold is like 800 watts or something. <laughs> we have all these, uh, all these things. And then we have guessing. Let's say guessing seems to do it. Seems to do it. Seems to do it. Let's have a little look. And then he says in the comments, he says that low carb sucks. So, so what you got is you got these pro riders who don't understand what's who's getting trolled, etc. And they just try and shit out low carb TT morning ride hunger flats. So you got Robert Gessink, a really fast rider, hunger flat. Look at this. Look at this. 214 watt average. I <laughs> he's doing a TT man. I can fucking hold that. Oh my god, look at that. A professional level rider. 214 watts. Robert Gessink, man. This dude's a fucking hitter. And he's doing... And here we go here. Let's we have, have a my ride. ride. I did this this morning. I went out with my girlfriend and a couple of mates. All right? I did 216 watts. I did 81 kilometers. I did... Gessink, 214 watts. 64. I did more Ks. More time. At 216 watts. Time-wise, I did over three hours. I, did, I trained harder than Robert Gessink this morning. Let's have a look at this power here. So, obviously, no one, not many Strava segments out there, but uh, cadence is good. But look at that. Guess think you only do 208 watts, man. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. When you're in low carb, you are done. Look at this. Guess think 208 watts. 208 watts, man. <laughs> 208 watts, bonking. TT, trying to do a TT. On his TT bike doing 200 watts. You know what I mean? The fucking... I mean, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. So he's got the power meter on there. If you don't have a power meter on there, you don't know, you're not really training. 
and let's have a look at the comments here. Carb the fuck up, bro. And it's just carb the fuck up. So even the pros are getting trolled with doing all this carbs. Carb City, why bother doing the boring stuff? You know, like, it, even the even the amateur riders are getting it, man. The people who watch my videos are getting it. And the pros are going, oh, I'm going to try to low carb. But look at that. Robert Guessing should have stayed in bed that day. He should have stayed in bed. Look at that. Max, 130, couldn't even get the power up. Max was not, oh, you did 930 little bursts there. But the heart rate is just struggling. So his recovery would be like, bam. He would be fucked. This would, like, a pro rider, I mean, that's crazy low wattage, man, for a TT. For one of the best fastest riders around so even if you're like seasoned like guessing it's done hundreds and hundreds of thousands of kilometers really efficient metabolism as a cyclist tries doing low carb hunger flat bonks so this is like it's just dang, there's there's the proof look at that power one more time 214 watts tt morning and during rider does 260 i do more power riding my girlfriend than a pro level rider, GC level contender does on a time trial in low carb. What's got, what, what, what is the world coming to? How does that work? I'm doing more power than guessing. Who could flog me any day of the week when he's carved up though? So that's just proof. I will smoke any rider on the planet as long as they're hunger flattened in ketosis. Low carb, carb depleted. If you're carb depleted, you're done. You're finished. Finito. Again, remember what happened to Contador? Do we have to play the Contador video again? Okay, let's play the Contador video one more time. This is carb depletion. This is a carb depleted rider. One of the fastest climbers on the planet getting dropped. Done. It's game over. Carb the fuck up. All right. Have a cup of water. Have a piece of fruit. Get out there and hit it. And you, when you're doing that, you burn yesterday's glycogen. If you want to get like a lean motherfucker, hey, I ain't the one having to do crazy shit to lose weight, am I? I ain't the one who did have to do crazy shit to lose weight. Full natty bra. Full natty bra. Amigo, 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 you got a cliff shot? You got a bad? You got a banana? You got some soft drink, mate? You got any coke, mate? You got any coke? I need some carbs, mate. I need some carbs. Quick, quick, quick. Benga, benga, benga. I need some carbs, mate. Hey, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You got any Team Sky Race Cake? I say it in a pommy accent, mate. You got any Team Sky rice cake? I need some cars, mate. It's Dr. Atkins' diet. It's got me fucked. Grimey, brother. Grimey, gardener.